love, that alluring and sought-after ingredient that fuels countless articles, books, podcasts, and blog posts about finding and maintaining it. When it comes to love, there's a healthy approach. And then there are five other methods that are considered detrimental, as outlined by Dr. Milan and Kay Yurkovich in their book, How We Love. These five love styles can stunt personal growth and even damage relationships. In this video, we'll explore the five love styles in detail and discuss how you can improve or even transform the way you love. Because after all, who doesn't want to love better? The Pleaser Pleasers are constantly striving to make others happy, often at their own expense. They lack boundaries and may inadvertently encourage others to treat them poorly. To become better lovers, pleasers must learn to set boundaries and value themselves as equally important and deserving as anyone else. The Victim Individuals with this love style tend to feel powerless and believe that they are unable to affect change in their lives. They often focus on their own suffering and expect others to rescue them. Overcoming the victim mentality requires self-awareness, personal responsibility, and the empowering realization that they have the ability to change their own lives. The Vacillator Vacillators waver between closeness and distance in relationships, often fearing that connections may not last, or that they are incapable of forming meaningful bonds. To combat this, they must take ownership of their past experiences and communicate openly with their loved ones about their fears and behaviors. The Controller Controllers often have a deep-rooted fear of losing control, which may stem from a childhood where they had little to no control. To change their habits, they must challenge their fears, practice acceptance and flexibility, and use goal-oriented mantras to help maintain focus and break unhealthy patterns. The Avoider Avoiders are individuals who were neglected and deprived of love and affection during childhood. They tend to avoid emotions and interactions with others for self-protection. To overcome this, they must cultivate self-awareness, practice patience, and in some cases, seek help from mental health professionals to rewire their thinking and change their habits. Do you recognize any of these traits in yourself or others? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's engage in a discussion. See you soon. Peace.